In this section, we're going to talk some more about curve editing and touch specifically on a couple of tools that are pretty handy called Fair and Smooth. Now, these tools both have sort of a similar function. What they do is just kind of round off your shapes, make everything a little smoother. And the Fair tool can actually work almost like a blur of your curves, so to speak. So I have a couple of curves here. As you can see, one is a soft curve, a control point curve. The other is a hard-edged curve. And my smooth tool is found here under the Transform menu. And my fair tool is found here. Curve menu, Curve Edit Tools, fair. So let's start with this one. Transform, smooth. This is my smooth pop-up window here. X, Y, and Z just lets me know that I'm smoothing in all directions, which is good. And here's the smooth factor. Now the smooth command is actually going to just move the points around to make the shape look a little more, a little softer, so to speak. Let's make this sort of a subtle change. We'll put it at point two. And you can see the points have just kind of moved a little bit closer together, although the actual number of them has stayed the same. And what about the fair command? We're going to select our line, our curve, fair. Now this shape here, because of the hard edges, won't work with the fair command. It's what they call a degree one curve. This shape, however, will work just fine. Tolerance, as you can see up here, is set to 1.0. If I left click and then left click again, it says tolerance must be a positive distance. As you can see, our shape has changed drastically. I can click and then drag my line out farther, which actually creates more of a blurring point. If I right click, it says tolerance 15. Let's try one, press enter. Let's try again, I'll click, I'll say 0 0.025. Almost no change at all. Basically, what the fair command is going to do, curve, curve edit tools, fair, is allow you to greatly change the shape of a curve by blurring, so to speak. Again, the number of points here remain the same. So for a better look at how something like that might work, let's create a curve that has a lot of shape to it. Select, Curve, Edit Tools, Fair, left click and left click again. So as you can see, it's quite a blurring effect of our shape. As opposed to the smooth factor, which allows the shape to retain more of itself depending on the value that you put in. Now the smooth command is also different from the fair command in that it will work on any shape that has control points. Or more specifically, any shape that could also be used with my transform tools such as bend or twist. In other words, I'll draw a box and a sphere. Now let's try to turn on control points for our box. Enable. For our sphere, they turn on just fine. What that means is, even though the sphere is obviously not a curve, it's a three-dimensional shape, it means that our smooth command will work. The smooth command can also be used on any polygon mesh because all meshes have control points, even a mesh box. And it's got quite a few points, as you can see. So if we select our mesh, smooth, let's try a factor of 5 just to see what happens. As you can see, it's done kind of an unusual thing to our box. 
Instead of a perfect box, it's pinched in on the sides and actually looks somewhat more detailed, even though there's a lot less geometry going on here. It's a smoother shape. So again, the smooth command can work with any shape that allows you to turn on the control points, whereas the fair command will work only with curves.